Whiteside Sports. Stop. Get it. Get it. Oh, are you recording? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! All right, there Don't we go. Stop, get it, get it, go and stick your finger in it. Nice, nice, nice. That's what I do. Movie theaters. <laughs> Call back to fucking three years ago. Finger banging. Finger banging in the uh, finger banging in the movie theaters. Finger next to the Fox set. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Well, I'm glad you got of that. Or they come in fucking dude, too wide of a shot. Dude, that was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, I got to send this to Randy. It's fucking in. Urban's throwing some game at some whore. <laughs> I'm yeah. assuming she's wearing a cowboy boots and short shorts. You a Florida fan or an yeah. Iowa State fan? <laughs> yeah. Or Utah? Have you ever seen Swamp Kings? Maybe Bowling Green? <laughs> yeah. I didn't watch the doc Neither about like, it because I, I thought heard, it was going to be shit. I heard that none of it is what anybody wanted. Because basically it's Urban and Tebow. Yeah. And it was, from what I understood, there's four episodes to it. Uh-huh. And like the fourth episode, they were just starting to get into the controversy. Yeah. Of like, this should have been well, all hey, it man, was like, about. <laughs> it, was this just a dick sucking event for the first three? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, somebody said one time, they're like, it would have been a better thing if you just did a do- like if you just did an untold about Tim Tebow. Yeah. He's like, cause that's what it, I mean. I probably would have watched that. Yeah. Because I think Tim Tebow gets shit one, two. He's almost like a political figure. Yeah. Like on the one side, he's a god. Yeah. But on the other side, he's a piece of shit. Yeah. He can't play football. It's like, uh huh. Well, I mean, you can make an argument. He's one of the best ever. Oh, he's one of the best college football players ever. of all time. But everybody's like, well, he couldn't make it in the NFL. It's like, well, that's not what college football is. There's no. a lot of. I mean, there was a time where, like, every Heisman Trophy quarterback didn't even get fucking drafted. Yeah. And never played. Yeah. I Fuck mean, Charlie Ward went to the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> after winning the Heisman. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure there's a stat. Like, there's, I don't Bad. know, I don't know if there's a Heisman Trophy quarterback who's won a Super Bowl. Ooh. Probably not. I Did don't know Stafford who Stafford win a Heisman? No. Okay. That's a good, I, and I, if it was, if they did, it'd have to be back in like the 50s. Yeah. And I don't think quarterbacks won Heisman's back then. Because mo- most running of the thing. time, like you got to look, obviously, in my time frame, too, of a lot of Heisman winners were quarterbacks that ran the option mm-hmm. and just rushed for 1,500 yards and yeah. they threw for fucking 200 yards. Like all the, like Nebraska back in their heyday. Roger Staubach and Jim Plunkett. Yeah. Those okay, are the, yeah, there you go. Exactly. Yeah, those are the only two. And where'd Roger Staubach go? Did he go to, like, fucking Navy? Yeah, I think so. So, yeah. You know, that's not real. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Navy exists, but winning a Heisman from Navy. That's not real. No, I mean, it's, like, that's it. It's, you, you just you don't. S- yeah, it, it's a different kind of everything. It's a different kind of style. The college football quarterback is not yeah. typically your pro style quarterback, nope. and they play defense in the NFL. Yeah, typically. really good stuff. Yeah, and they're usually a lot faster than yeah. college. Yeah, not freshmen playing. <laughs> I mean, not this eighteen guy year old. Sucks. Yeah, now like Tebow. I mean, when you think, I mean, like, growing up, like when you think of college football quarterbacks, like I'm picking Tebow or Cam Newton. Like those are my yeah. two that I'm picking. Yeah. Because it, you think of college quarterback, you think of dual threat. Yeah. That, I mean, yep. it, you know, and those two are the best dual threat quarterbacks that I yeah, can I remember. I don't think of Peyton Manning. No, I don't either. Even I, like he could have won a Heisman. Could have won a Heisman. But. I mean, you picked it. He was that bad. You picked a defender over him. So. Yeah. Not saying, not taking anything away from Charles Woodson. He's a fucking man, but. Yeah. But still, I mean, you picked a defender over him. Yeah. And it's an offensive award. Offense too. Like, not really. No. Mm-hmm. Like three snaps a yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. I mean, he's no Travis Hunter. But <laughs> that. <ooh. laughs> but no, I mean, the the, the college quarterback is a, the dual threat quarterback. That's what everybody thinks when they think of college yeah. quarterback, because you have to be able to run. That's what makes them dangerous. Um, But no, I mean, Tim Tebow is awesome. I, I heard that the the documentary sucked. 
Yeah. Because and not that it, it sucked. To. Not that it sucked because it was just bad, but because no like all the juicy stuff wasn't in. I mean, like Aaron Hernandez wasn't even in it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, come yeah. on. Because <laughs> he mean, did some shit yes, down there. Exactly. They thought he murdered a kid in college. At college. In college. Yes. Was pretty sure that he did. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure the Pouncy boys helped him murder him. That's kind of the thing. They kind of ran around together a little bit there. That was, uh, I think I said this last week, I, some, the girl, some girl that covers sports, like soon as she's seen Urban Meyer sitting down for an interview for it, said this isn't going to be worth a fuck yeah. because he's obviously involved. Yeah. Tell like, me he didn't finger butthole down there in Florida. Oh, man. All them co-eds. Uh, he, you know he's sticking his finger in the swamp. All right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gotta plug that dike. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I thought mine was good. No, you topped it. Nice. Nice. I was trying not to laugh when I said mine. Self pop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's an educational joke. You got to know what a dyke yeah. is. Don't let laugh at that. Yeah. That's, that's, a good, that's a smart joke. It means a couple different things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Urban. Riley Cooper wasn't even. They didn't even talk about that. Yeah. You're well, telling me his that, controversy is in the NFL calling know, everybody tell me, the N word. You're telling me he didn't do it in college. Yeah. You just don't start you when just, you get to the pros. You just pick that up now. Yeah. He's picking it up now. You thought you were one of them. I went to school in Florida. I can't say it. <laughs> that is still the greatest beam of like the picture of them on the field together. It's like so a, a <laughs> priest, a murderer, and a racist <laughs> walk into a bar. <laughs> to Urban there and a molester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 that is a weird thing like though i i i don't remember all the details of the cooper thing i just so remember him like, being on a he he played with the he was only eagles at the yeah. time there was a video out of them in like a nightclub and he's just yelling the n-word that's yeah. all i remember like, <laughs> like hey not, i don't even know if he's yelling it like at anybody just doing it i think he's just and i could be wrong because it's been a while i think he's just yelling it very yeah. like aggressively <laughs> <laughs> and like the hard ER, not like the, oh, the yeah, singing not the a, version. Yeah, yeah. Not the A-H ending. Yeah, A-H. Ah. Uh, no, I get it. Well, then why are you questioning it? That's because more I, of the phonetics of it. Oh. Do you want to know what phonetics means? No, I know what phonetics means. I'm good. <laughs> I went to college. <laughs> I went to school. I went to school. Your mom goes to college. <laughs> Yeah, your mom. Uh, that needs to come back. Look, your mama. Your mama. What about her? She's a whore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know what pops up on my TikTok all the time, and they're absolutely and I don't. I'd never heard of this guy until the old Comedy Central roasts pop up. You've probably heard of him because you're older than I am, but the Greg Giraldo. Yeah. Yeah, he's funny on those roasts. Yeah. Like he just like gives it to me. He's dead now, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Lots of cocaine. He did drugs. Yeah, he yes. looks like he did drugs. Enjoyed them. Yeah. <laughs> but Too then much. like he'd gotten clean, I'm gonna guess he'd dip back in and exploded yeah. his heart. But yeah. uh like I remember when he died, like everybody was like shocked. He's like, Oh my god, I can't believe he died. It's so shocking. It's like really? <laughs> really? <laughs> this because is shocking. <laughs> seems pretty obvious that that's where that was going. <laughs> So I could tell that he kind of does drugs just by the way that because he, he was, looks and like talks. It was him and Jeff Ross were the yeah the roasters and like yeah. Jeff Ross is like the king of roasts now or yeah. whatever. I was like nah, Greg Gerardo yes. was the fucking dude. Yeah, dude, he just goes after and he's and he's yeah. funny about it too. I mean, he did probably every one of them except for like I mean, obviously after he died, he didn't do them, but like the one against or the one for like Pam Anderson and they did Larry the Cable yeah. Guy and yeah. Uh, Flavor Flav and all those like those yeah. those ones were freaking hilarious. The Flavor Flav one, the Jeff Ross portion, yeah, about on that mo- show when the girl shit in the corner, yeah. and he's like, he thought he was giving birth to one of his kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I remember God that show, the Flavor, the, yeah, the oh, Flavor, flavor of Love, flavor of yeah. love. like uh, the girl that you had. There's a shit in the corner. Like, what the fuck is going on? Is that a shit? <laughs> and then, like, him and Bridget Nielsen. Yeah. Like, on the whatever the other one, the celebrity fucking mm-hmm. house or former celebrity. They call it yeah, celebrity house or whatever. Okay. 
but nobody knows who they are. <laughs> yeah. Flavor of Flay. Yeah. Say the V. Yeah. You know, say in the ending, <laughs> finish it. <laughs> yeah, those were, I mean, he's funny. I, I, like I said, he probably died probably before I was able to watch Comedy Central Roasts, but. Yeah. Probably 08-ish. Oh, okay. 10-ish, maybe. Gotcha. It's hard to tell time anymore. Yeah. I mean. He's not wearing his clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking that the other day of like, because, uh. I, don't know, I think Washington beat Boise State of like, what well, fucking year? Because I know we talked about Boise yeah. State still getting credit off of that. Yeah. Of like, what yeah. is that, fucking 2007? I think 08, 07, 08 is what I said last week. But yeah. Yeah. Of like, yeah why, why are we acting like it. you guys are still worth a fuck? You're not. It's your you, blue field to go with your blue balls, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, they just are only known for having a blue field. No, I... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know why. I'm sure. Sh- I mean, I'm not shocked Washington beat him, but well, yeah, yeah, Washington's really fucking good. Are they? Yeah. Uh, what Penix? Penix Jr. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, and when I say really good, I mean for like pack. Yeah. Like they're gonna. Yeah. I would could win it. I wouldn't call you crazy if you put a hundred dollars on them to win the pack twelve. Oh. Like. Nice. Because nice. I don't think USC can. Caleb Williams makes some some odd th- off yeah. the wall throws, doesn't I, he? He's one of those ones where everybody's freaking out of like, mm-hmm. and I understand it. Yeah, it's like the shit you're seeing him do, and you're going, and you know now it's it's going to be Patrick Mahomes comparison. Yeah, because because be. the because the one where he's looking like he's running out of bounds, yeah. he just that's bad defense. But yeah, and it's like it's a good yeah, catch. you're doing this shit, but it ain't gonna fucking work. No. And I, I think a lot of people don't watch Patrick Mahomes. Mm-hmm. Like, he does it, but it only works, like, one out of six fucking times. Yeah. Like, most of the time. Like, if you watch both the Bengals games from last year, well, actually, the three that the Bengals won in a row, mm-hmm. he keeps trying to do that, and the yeah. Bengals don't bite on it, and yeah. it just doesn't fucking work. Yeah. I he mean, it's... keeps running backwards. Single-handedly lost them that game in, in the, the fucking play, playoffs. playoffs yeah where he just keeps going he just backwards. kept going backwards yeah. like you're in field goal range you yeah. should be yeah exactly i mean uh no i agree with you on that i mean it's not going to work again. i mean did you watch utah play florida utah looks fast a defense i mean not i'm not saying florida really looked all that great i mean let's be not. honest they're but not they're not but Utah played very fast very aggressive you think that's gonna work against them it didn't work against them last didn't year work, yeah twice yeah <laughs> uh you know, Oregon. Oregon's always fast, yeah. whether they're, you know, any good or not. They're fast. Because it's got to be. I, you know, because they always say well, he's got the best chance of repeating at Heisman. I don't think I think if you asked about the Heisman committee, they'd be upset that they gave it to Archie a second time. Yeah. Like that's sure. just something you don't do. Well, the second year he's was fuck, worse. was worse than his yeah. first year. I mean, way worse numbers. But it, wise. It's one of those ones of like the amount of shit that Caleb Williams would have to put up and I assume if they lose a game he's not getting it. you're not getting it yeah um the only in my opinion I thought Tebow would be <coughs> the only other one I thought the second time he was yeah. up he should have won it I mean yeah. my opinion uh yeah. yeah I mean you have to like Tebow would have been a great one for a second win that way Florida had something yeah <laughs> that they could still live off of <laughs> We were fucking great back in 2007 and 9. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Well, it's 2023. <laughs> uh, but gosh. back to the Yo Mama stuff. Yeah. I want to hear, just kind of the way college kids are now, mm-hmm. a Yo Mama. Yeah. But like, you know, from one of the mics on the sidelines and just hear a guy going, hey, man, I heard your mom doesn't even eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be the... Yeah. Yeah. This is, mm. <laughs> Your dad said he, she's not even a scrum chaser. <laughs> a scrum chaser, huh? <laughs> uh, goodness. Okay. We what had, do you want to hit first? We had college football yesterday. How much did you get to watch? Um, Watched uh, 90% of the Colorado game. Okay. Because I was, I was driving yeah. in between quarters three and four. Yeah. Um, obviously watched the Ohio State game and then uh-huh. caught some stuff last night. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, other than that, there really wasn't any other games. Not any good to do games with. now. Um, I watched. I watched all the the Colorado TCU game because I was just so invested in yeah. in Colorado. I mean, so invested in Colorado. I want to give a shout out, a very negative shout out to Purdue. They can go fuck themselves. Lost me three hundred and thirty eight dollars. Yeah, yeah. I thought they could beat Fresno State. They did not. Money well, that's li- just, money That's line. just on you. Money line. Fresno State might win an Addy this yeah, year. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. How dare I? Fucking Bulldogs. Yeah. I think that's who they are. Some sort of dog. But no, uh, I watched Colorado, Colorado State. I watched a little bit of Tennessee back and forth because I wanted to see how Joe Milton looked. Yeah. But I know that they're playing nobody, so it's kind of tough. But um, he didn't look bad. Yeah. He didn't look bad. Still got that fucking cannon, though. Yeah. God damn, does he just throw the ball harder than shit? Well, they they have a, you know. Can they round it together for November? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, he's got a, I don't think they can. No. I think they're back to the, hey, you suck. Yeah. Well, they could. I mean, they very well could be. It's Tennessee. It's not, yeah. the, I mean, and let's be honest. All they did was beat out a bad, a poor Alabama team. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I mean, with a last second field goal. Uh-huh. That, that's all they've <laughs> that's done. That's all they did. So, yeah. Well, we could have made the playoffs if it wouldn't have, it was like, yeah, but don't lose South Carolina. So, the, yeah, because LSU beat them too, didn't they? No. LSU beat Tennessee, right? No. Nope. Tennessee Georgia beat did. I'm saying in the regular season, did they play? Did LSU and Tennessee play? Oh. Uh, I thought they no, did. No, they only lost two games. Oh, Tennessee both lost both to. They lost South Carolina Atlanta. and to Georgia. Okay. Because they're talking about, oh, uh, two lost team can get in over Ohio State. And mm. it was like, well, you got blown out by Georgia. Yeah. And you lost to South Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can't do that. Can't do that. Um, I didn't watch any of the Michigan game. I watched the highlights of the Michigan game. All I seen was, like, their their tribute to... Yeah, Harbaugh. And, like, I see Boston Connor on Twitter. Like, they did that. He had the picture of it. He was like, did, did Jim Harbaugh did die? die? <laughs> yeah, I know. He like, d- what the fuck are we doing he did here? He a self-imposed ban. What are you yeah. doing? Yeah. <laughs> are you acting like he's... <laughs> is he fucking paralyzed? Yeah, I mean, are you getting a car I, wreck? That's what I thought, too. It's a pretty good chance he's in the booth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, if we do this, then we won't have to run on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Just kissing ass, coach. But Colorado and TCU. Man, what a fun game Yo. to watch. What a fun game to watch. Um, Colorado tackles like my high school football team. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sure they, do. They sure do. It is not good. It is not good tackling. Um. Not impressed with, um, I thought I, everybody talked up Dion's second child, the safety. <coughs> I know he's oh, young, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, you know, he flat gave up on that touchdown. Yes, he did. That, That's, that yeah. tackle was yeah. like, uh, 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 uh. yeah. Um, but no, I mean like defensively, they just like, they were there. They just didn't make any fucking tackles. Yeah. TCU. Not a bad team. No. Not a bad team at all. They're a TCU team. Yeah. Last year was a, hey, you, you won those close games this year yeah. so far. You've lost them. Yeah. Um, and their quarterback could not throw the ball down the field. No. He is very inaccurate, like past 15 yards. Because there's a couple times towards the end of the game where they just make a couple. If he just completes two of those passes down the field, yeah. they at least get in field goal range to tie. I'll tell you what, though. Fucking Shador, though. Oh, my goodness, man. Ac- uh, his accuracy impressed the fuck out of me. That one down the sidelines where he hit that guy in the fucking hands. Yeah. Of like, because they initially like, I overthrew it a bit. And then they put, well, it hit him in the hands. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, I was, I was shocked how well they actually kind of ran the ball as well. No, they yeah. didn't do it a lot, you know. Yeah. But. They did it enough. What they needed to. They needed. I mean, I, I mean, still threw the ball for forty-five times, whatever it was. But you know, they they did enough running the football to make you respect it. Yeah. My favorite part of that, yeah, is the press conference after the game. Oh yeah, because he fucking ripped everybody. It was great. What do you think now? Yeah, you believe in us now? Yeah. And now all the people kind of back shuffling or the or basically just doubling down. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, TCU isn't any good. Well, yeah, but you said they was going to beat us by four fucking touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Yeah. 
Because it was uh, Tom Luganpool that they kind of. Oh, they were going back, back from, yeah. The day before, because mm-hmm. they wrote an article and yeah. of like saying, what? Yeah. Well, they had the worst. Uh, Lugan Buell said that they still had the worst roster in college football this year. It's like, how's that even fucking possible? They got like five five stars on that team. Yeah. So that's not possible at all. At all. Even if they did, even if they only had Travis Hunter. Yeah. If you have that guy, you can't have the worst roster. It's like, yeah. well, they don't have any defensive line, which they don't. No. They're off. They don't have much of an offensive line, which they schemed out of. Yeah, they did. Because they kept them. Yeah. You know, they doubled. A lot. Hey, I mean, du- we're doubling yeah. here. We're moving the pocket here. Yeah. They did what you're supposed to fucking do. Yeah. They were. They actually coached them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Shocking. Shocking huh? I, I now, tell you what. Me, to interrupt. Sorry. To go with the coaching thing. How smart. Now, I know Dion obviously was a head coach before he took this head coaching job. Experience, though, you know, that level, not, you know what I'm saying? That's what he got yeah. a lot of knocks for. He has five former Division One football or NFL head coaches on his staff. Yeah. So offense coordinators, head coach of Kent State for five years. Yeah. Like, that's a big, like, to me, that was a big deal. It's like, you're smart enough to go get guys who have experience, not at that level, but Division One. Yeah. Division One head coach, you can call plays. You know how this works, you know, yeah. it's stuff like that. So I thought that was a big part of the coach thing before I inter- sorry, interrupted that. Yeah. You know, whatever you were going um, to say. Sorry. Interrupted you. Hmm. Apologize. That's okay, man. Oh, but it was um, going against the roster. Oh, the offensive yeah, yeah. line, they the, schemed it. I don't understand why everybody wants, not everybody, but people with some microphones and stuff and yeah, on big networks yeah why they want him to fit like it's yeah. very obvious they want, want him, him to, to fail, fail. yeah I, I think because it's not the it's an out of whack way to go about being good yeah i mean it's he doesn't have any he didn't climb the ladder he hasn't been he coached before i mean he did he wasn't an assistant coach before he became a head coach yeah so people don't like that but that but that's all but it's also coming from people that didn't play the fucking game. Like oh, Tom yeah. Lugenbu didn't do anything. What? No. Who the fuck is he? Yeah. No. I. I mean. But it. Of like. It's kind of that same way when like. Uh, Cower and like they all shit on Jeff Saturday. It's like. Yeah. Hey, you guys realize that the interim coach never gets the fucking job. Yeah, he was never, never. getting. No, he was never getting a job. And you kind of neglected when they asked some of the guys on the staff. Because they, they kept no. going. Well, he's been a head coach. Why didn't they celebrate them? You realize he told them no, right? Yeah. That I'm not doing it. Yeah. Because they you, want you, another you job. You forget to ask that. Well, they want another job. But it just like, well, you know, he told these kids that they weren't good enough. Yeah, because they fucking wasn't. They were, they were tied for the worst team in college football last year. I, I tell you what, that's why I love it. That's why I love it. The guy came in and just was him. And he told him straight up, if you can't handle the way that we do things now, leave yeah he didn't say i don't want you he said if you can't handle the way that we're doing things and the way we're changing stuff leave yeah he gave him an option stay on the team be a part of something special or leave if you don't want to be a part of it yeah but just know i'm bringing my guys with me that's all he said yeah that's all he said and everybody act like well he can't do this well then then that video comes out and goes hey if one person fights we all fight of like Hey, that is fucking football. That's football, man. There was a fight, and two guys walked off the fucking field. That gets you cut mm-hmm. on an NFL roster if you're yeah, not a quarterback. Exactly. Like you, you're fucking done. Uh huh. Of like, yeah. It's okay to coach hard. Yeah. Kind of how you have to coach. Kind of what we're missing. Kind of what a lot of people are missing now. What a fucking pussies out there. Yeah. Yeah. Urban they're... Myers are hunting. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean it, it was great to see, and then like you said though. Shadur, man, he was very impressive, very methodical in what he was doing. Yeah. I mean, very smart. You can tell he's yeah. smart, and you can tell he does not want to run the fucking football. Nope. <laughs> he has no interest. Which is okay, it's but great. at some point in time, he's going to rip have one to. off. Yes, yeah. I mean, you could definitely tell he's just a good quarterback. Yeah. I mean, he know he understands. He knows the offense. I was very... I, I mean, I didn't watch Jackson State play, so I... You, no. know, you know what I mean? I'm not, it's not on TV. Uh... So I, this is the first time really I ever saw the kid play, and I'm like, yeah. it's impressive as fuck. Threw for 510 yards. Yeah. 
And that was one of the, I love that on Twitter. Like one guy that was making the comment about like, well, it didn't anything. And then, you know, cause TCU is overrated. Cause now you have to flip on that side of yes, which they of are. Course. They were super overrated, but you got to give the, but they're still TCU. Yes. Yeah, so you got to give the runners up some kind of love in the but, preseason. Um, they're at they're 17th. Saying, saying, oh, they're overrated. They're not as good. Like, okay. Then the one comment was like, yeah, but he never threw, uh, for 500 yards at Jackson State against any of those HBCU schools, like he had to come to Division One and play last year's national runner-up yeah. to do that. Yeah. So shut the fuck up. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, it's... And then talk about fucking Travis Hunter, man. He's so fucking good. The dude... I was so confused at first. Like the first two drives. Yeah. For probably, probably first 10 minutes of the game. I'm like, man, that number 12 was good. Man, that number 12 was good. I was like, I said, oh, yeah. I, because I thought it was like Ohio State, right? They got yeah. two number 12s. Yeah. I was like, man, I said, both number 12s are good. Yeah. <laughs> and then no. I, I didn't see his name. And I'm like, it's the same fucking kid, you idiot. Like, that kid is awesome. That fucking interception. Oh, my goodness. Might have been one of the greatest ones ever. Yeah. And I think people kind of poo poo on it. It was like, well, he just made an interception. It was kind of no. guy. Was like, no. That wasn't even, he wasn't, wasn't guarding even. that fucking guy. No. He was on the other guy. Yeah. And just and played, just came, off, just of came it. off of it. And then made a phenomenal catch. Yeah, because if he doesn't roll over, he drops it. Yeah. If he doesn't spin. Oh, yeah. And it hits, cradle, the ground. It hits the ground. Yeah. Fantastic catch. And then to catch the football on the other end. And yeah, I mean, he had a hundred and some passing receiving yards. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Fifteen. Something like that. Something like, yeah. Yeah. Just like 11 catches. 11 catches. Yeah. Like he just won the Heisman yesterday. Yeah, I mean, ba- I mean, now they cool. played Nebraska on national TV again next week. So if you duplicate that game, and then you get into the Big Twelve, into the Pac Twelve, where nobody's ever going to see you. Are they in the it, Pac or the Big? They're in the Pac. They're in the Pac. Next year they go back to the Big. Gotcha. But uh, it, it's going to be interesting because in the Pac Twelve, every team has a fucking quarterback in the Pac Twelve. Yeah, every fucking team mm-hmm. of like. Hey, that is is it kind of be like prime Dion thing of, hey, this side of the field is off limits. Like when that guy's over there on that corner's over there, we cannot throw to this side of the field. Yeah. Probably going to ha- get that way. Yeah. That's how it was in prime Dion NFL. You just didn't throw that side of the fucking field anymore. Mm-hmm. Cause he's going to pick it off, and take it back for a touchdown. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I just, I want to see. I, I am excited for this week because I want to see the adjustments made yeah. defensively. Yeah. Now, offensively, they did a really good job, like you said earlier, scheming with the run game. The offensive line is really little yeah. in the grand scheme of things oh, of yeah. Division One. Like they're like they have there's they're not fat. Yeah. Like they need some weight on them. You know, they they all they all look like they're in shape athletic right. linemen. That's not what you need. You need a couple fat boys up you there. Be in shape. But you need to be in shape at 300 pounds. pounds. Exactly. You, they need a couple of wide siders up there to start running the football. Um, it, but, you know, defensively, they're small again up front on the defensive line. Okay. It is what it is. But there's ways you can scheme around it. Yeah. You can, you know, you can, you can stunt, you can get, you know, stuff like that. And you just fucking tackle better. And who better than the consultant that they have? Yeah, hmm. exactly. I know. Figure he knows how to run some stunts and some fucking blitzes that nobody's ever seen before. Yeah. Especially at this fucking level. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But oh. I, I, you know. Are like, they ranked next week? Are mm, they ranked? It'd be interesting. I wonder where they were ranked. Were Colorado? they in the top 50? Colorado, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't see it. Top that's 50. The, I wouldn't be shocked if they were like 25th. Actually, you know what? No, they're not ranked. But if they beat Nebraska, somehow they will be. <laughs> yeah. They'll fuck them. They'll fuck them over. But, uh, oh, shit. like everybody, like I've seen a lot of people shitting on Joe Clatt, which I understand he went to Colorado. Yeah. And I'm okay with him being a little biased because he fucking went there. Yeah. It's his I'm, it, you know, that that's what bothers me most about uh, broadcasters and like shit like that they now. They can't be biased. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, not even that. Like, um, no, I, like I, on the broadcast booth, but I'm talking about like people who just host sports shows of like, like a Dan Patrick always says, well, you know, I told myself when I got these jobs that I wasn't going to root for a team. It's like the stupid. 
that's just dumb. Like dumb. Mike Greenberg is very successful. Very clearly is a Jets fan. Yeah, exactly. It's okay. It's okay. For you not to be a fan of a team uh-huh. is fucking weird because you cover weird. the sport. Very weird. Like people shit on Desmond Howard. But the guy clearly likes Michigan. Went like, to Michigan. Went to Michigan. Won a fucking Heisman a trophy, trophy there. there. Like, he's allowed to, because they came out, because everybody was shitting on him, because he left Ohio State off of his playoff. Why would he pick Ohio yeah. State? He doesn't get paid for being correct. Yeah. He, do, he doesn't. No, it doesn't he does, matter. He doesn't like Ohio State. He went to Michigan. He hates Ohio State, just like Herb, Kirk, uh, Kirk, you know, Probably Herb Street probably hates Michigan. Yeah, he's just less. He he's just less about it. He is it. a very vanilla down the yes. line. Yes, I'm sure he hates Michigan yeah. just as much as the next person went to high State. But you know, it is what it is. Leave the guy alone. Like Joel Clatt. Yeah, you went to Colorado. Root for him. He hell. I'm not so sure he still doesn't have some of the fucking quarterback records. Yeah, he might. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, that you know what that was a. Uh, uh, how he ended up back at Colorado playing football to get drafted in baseball. Yeah. And he's down in rookie ball for, I don't know who he was playing for. I don't, it might've been the Rockies, but they're in Arizona. Cause that, after they, they come out of spring training, then you get designated to your single A's, double A's, triple A's. And then they have like, as soon as you get drafted, they stay down in Arizona at the training camps and you have rookie rookie ball where they single A, but it's mostly all rookies. Yeah. And some rehab assignment, guys. And it's when Kerry Wood still pitched for the uh, uh, Cubs. Mm-hmm. And he was on a rehab assignment. Gotcha. And told them, hey, I'm only throwing fastballs today because, you know, he had arm injury. So only throwing fastballs today. And Clatt says, I go up into that box because it's my first time. And Kerry Wood was at his fucking height yeah. in Major League Baseball. He goes, I went up there and I know because he told us that he's only throwing fastballs today. <laughs> and he goes, he struck me out on three straight pitches. Nice. And I went back to Colorado to play football. <laughs> it's like, if you know what's coming and you can't you hit, hit it, it and it's, yeah, he's a top notch pitcher uh, also on a rehab assignment. Like yeah. he doesn't have he doesn't, everything. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, I couldn't hit that. So we're yeah. going to play football. We're going to play football. That's funny. Uh, but I, like him talking about, in, in their deep, you think their offensive line looks small. Their defensive line is tiny. Yes, yes they, yes they are. And but he was right on the whole T- T- TCU thing for the rest of the game. He's like, why aren't you running the ball? Yeah. You should just be running the ball. You should be the running whole the whole first half. Run the fucking ball. Yeah, yeah. All the, the problems the kids, TCU had was when they tried to fucking pass it. Yeah, I, I the mean, only thing Colorado has is a defensive backfield. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Yeah, I. I, I agree. I thought the same thing. I was like, why the heck? Like, you're, it's a game the whole game. I mean, it was a game the entire time. Yeah. The, like, you were down 10. That was the yeah. most you were ever down. Why are you not running the football? Yeah. Because you're gashing them. You're getting, you're getting 5 to 20 yards almost every time that you run the ball. And that's the Derrick Henry thing, too, of like when you're doing that in the first half of like, hey, man, they don't, they don't they have don't like number it. twos at this position. Yeah. So by the fourth quarter, because it's 105 fucking degrees down here. Oh, shit. Probably going to start chunking them. Yeah. Now, I will say this. I don't know whether, you know, I, I obviously they can beat Nebraska, but, mm-hmm. you know, people, people shit all over Matt Rule for that first. They got beat on the last second field goal. Yeah. And they're like, yep, so you didn't change anything. There was, it's like, it's game fucking one. Yeah. And you guys have sucked for 20 fucking years. Yeah. <laughs> I got an idea that he's going to be okay. Yeah. I mean, he, he made Temple good. Yes, exactly. And then after the whole fucking molestation thing and, Baylor, Baylor he everybody, went down, everybody laughed left and he it. came down and Did, had them for a chance for the, at the college football fucking playoff. They yeah. were really good that year. Yeah. But it's like they're going to be fine. But I will tell you what they are going to do. They're going to run the fuck out of the ball when they cuz yeah. Matt Rule's going to see that and go, "Hey, we're running I, we might yeah. throw it fucking five times, but we're <laughs> running the fucking ball on this team." <laughs> yeah. That's what you're going to see next yeah. week. No, you're right. That's exactly what he's going to do. Um I, yeah, I like I like Colorado. Get me a buff shirt. Hell yeah. Yeah. Old buff. Fucking prime on the side. Yeah. It's fucking <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh man. I I liked it. Ohio State, um everybody just just relax. Just relax. Just yeah. relax. <laughs> Quarterbacks will work themselves out. Here's here's my 
thoughts on that. Obviously, very obvious that um, <laughs> Ryan Day's calling the plays. Yeah, yeah, obvious. So he didn't give that up. Yeah. And as I got, obviously, being upset at the time when you're watching the game, but then as I think about it, of like, it's what they look like in the first game every fucking year. Uh huh. It was very bland. They didn't do yeah. anything. No, that's, yeah. Uh, the quarterback, very obvious that it was getting those jitters out of this my first yeah. fucking time. Yeah. Secondly, they've never played well in Indiana. They've almost gotten beat multiple times. Um, I think he'll be fine. I thought it came true yesterday. My prediction of Marvin Harrison would get hurt yeah, and then so would play I. the rest yeah, of the year. I did as soon too. as he did that and went and he grabbed it, yeah. I was like, he just broke his fucking collarbone. That's what I thought too. I, of like, yeah. And then when he came back on the field, because I, I told my brother, I said, well, that was my prediction is that he's going to get hurt and he won't play, play all yeah, this year. All year. Yeah. I thought, <laughs> thought, thought it came right. true on the first <laughs> one. I still stand by that. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, so it's a little, I think people would be, they would feel differently had Marvin not stepped out of bounds and they score a touchdown instead of a field goal. Yeah. And if he would read a block and not run into the linebacker and ran into the five yard open hole yeah. and walked into the end zone yeah. on that quarterback draw. Cause now that's two touchdowns instead of two field goals. Now it's 31 to three and everybody's okay. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. No, I agree with you on that. Um, I thought it was now I, I look at things weirdly for some reason. I look at it as like what I would do if I was in, Day shoes or, or Saban shoes or anybody's shoes. It's like, this was their scrimmage. Yeah. Has anybody ever shown everything in their scrimmage? They were very basic. They were very basic. They ran very basic stuff. And he wanted to come out and set a tone. That's why they ran the ball. Yeah. Because he wants to run. I mean, he tries to run the ball. That's yep. he, he said that in, uh, in the before the game interview. Yeah. That he was trying to play old school football today. So he was trying yeah. to run the football to try to get everybody comfortable. Okay, it is what it is. They weren't going to show yeah, you anything. They can't do it. Yeah, they can't. They're bad at it because yep. they still don't know what they are. They still don't know if they're zone or power. It's been <laughs> this has been in charge for five years. And well, they I still, know we know they're not a zone blocking. They're team. terrible at zone blocking because they can't get up to the linebacker that on the front side of the looked, zone. That guy might have just got drafted yesterday. Forty four. Yeah, it's like yeah. How on a run play? Not just uh, but multiple. <laughs> Can the linebacker be two yards in the backfield? In between the guard and the center, and never get touched. Uh, it, because, I mean, their, their it eyes is unbelievable. Oh man, they're they're. Even if you just held your fucking get arms, arms up, up like yeah. This. The, I've never seen such big gaps, and it's not your. It's not the cutback gap. Your mom. It's the front side. Uh huh. What did you say? <laughs> it's such a big gap. He said I your said mom. Your mom. <laughs> oh, or. Uh, yeah, but it's the front side gap that they're leaving open. It's not the cutback one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's the yeah. it's the front side. He's running through the front the front side that you're yeah. of your zone. Um, but no, I I was I was shocked. Um, you want to run two tight end sets, which is fine. But you want to try to run the football out of it, right? Okay, G. Scott's not a blocker. He literally also was a, not a catcher. He literally was a receiver. When he came to Ohio State yeah. and they moved him to tight end, that is a crazy thing. Your two tight ends, your top. Your number one and number two tight ends. One was a receiver and the other one was a linebacker. linebacker. I know. Like you didn't. <laughs> they weren't tight ends. <laughs> they weren't tight ends at all. But like Stover's a blocker. He'll hit somebody. Oh, yeah. But, the but they're also not, tight ends. Yeah, they're also tight they ends. Block like tight ends. Yeah, they're not. They're not an extra lineman. Yeah. If you want to run the football with a little 12, 13 person, put another lineman in. Yeah. Who cares? Put another one in. Um, I think Devin Brown's going to be the winner. When it comes to long term, I don't think so. You don't think so? I think the decision's already been made that it's been Kyle McCord the whole time. Mm, I don't know. He threw. He throws the ball good. Yeah, I didn't, I'm not saying. I just think that Devin Brown gives you a little bit more athleticism well, the back is, there. Like the fact that you didn't even get to see Devin Brown. Yeah, you seen him throw the three passes at the end of the game, which were all fucking terrible. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't. I think because it got a little bit of crunch time, even though like there was never a threat that Indiana was going to, even when it no. was seven to three, Oh, it was and like, that's, that's why I, that's he wh- never even brought him back in the game. And that's why I thought 
Like that's why they're not worried about yeah showing you anything. Yeah, that they were never gonna. They were never gonna lose. Oh, I, Indiana had no, Indiana is worse offensively than Iowa. Okay, they they don't have those guys now. Indiana's defense always play hard because if you play on a motion defensively, yeah. you're gonna be fine. Yeah, they they play hard. They're aggressive. They're physical. They always play hard defensively. Yep. But uh, they just don't have any weapons. They don't have any firepower to do anything offensively. So you were fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just everybody chillax. My biggest thing, my biggest two takeaways would be on the reason of like, I would, we're going to at least lose to Penn State or Michigan or both. Mm-hmm. I think any, that's reasonable take on any year because yeah. Penn State's really good and Michigan's beach twice. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it was still the offensive line, the same thing. You're going to get bullied yeah. by Michigan. And Penn State's defensive lines are going to fucking dominate Ohio State's offensive line. Yeah. Unless they figure Unless out they some other something. blocking scheme. Yeah. They just can't hand, hold up. My issue, they didn't throw a lot. But, like, the defensive line, like, has no push. Mm-hmm. Like well, they, they're not big. They, they were getting handled by Indiana's offensive yeah. line of, like, that's a fucking problem. Yeah. So, it's going to be one of those of it. I didn't see anything that said anything on your defense changed. No. And I've seen a lot of fucking Ohio State's defense is great. It's like, wow. Um, they didn't complete a lot of passes, but those guys were fucking open. Yeah. Like, that last play on that fucking fourth down and 17 mm-hmm. hit the guy in the fucking hands for a first down. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like that, like yeah. you didn't change anything. No, I, I, I mean, Ohio State's defense is... The same. They're gonna they're gonna get gashed. Yeah. Uh, unless they again, unless they fix something, which you don't know. All you see is practice. That's why you have these first two yeah. or three weeks. You know, you're gonna beat. Yep. What's its nuts next week? Whoever the hell you play. Who they play? Youngstown State. Youngstown State. You're gonna beat Western Kentucky. Yeah. And then you roll into Notre Dame, and hopefully you got it fucking figured out because yep. Notre Dame looks halfway decent. Yeah. And they got a guy that can throw the fucking ball. Yes, they do. So you're going to find out real quick. And you quick. know that their offensive line is going to be fucking massive and is going to bury you. Yep. Then you know they're going to run the football. Yep. And they're going to be physical up front on defense. Yeah. That's it. That's Notre Dame football. So I didn't even think about that. There's better than average chance of Ohio State get beat by Notre Dame. Yeah, they 100%. If they don't change anything. Yeah, they change something. And I want to, I mean, you'll see a little bit. They'll add a little bit to the offense each week. Oh, yeah. You know, nothing yeah. crazy, but they'll yeah, add a little very bit bland, very just bland. basic we're gonna run that's what i'm saying it looks like it looks like a scrimmage it looks like yeah. a very first scrimmage we have here's our script we're running just the script here's 10 15 plays we're running those because we can and we can beat these yeah. guys with these plays well the bad thing is is like when you you just run the script and like your receivers couldn't get open against indiana was yeah. a little concerning because not concerned about a, a book and marvin harrison mm-hmm Marvin Harrison looked like he didn't give a shit yesterday. 100%. <laughs> like that was yeah. a, yeah, that was a very clearly of like when people are already talking about, well, could he win the Heisman? Well, he just lost it yesterday. Yeah. Like he can't win the Heisman now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I think receivers are different. Can't have two catches for 18 yards and the one catch you had, you ran out of bounds on. Like you can't, like can't do that. Yeah. And, when the guy that you're going to be going against had an interception, fucking eight catches for 150. Like, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no, I get that. I get that part of it. Um, but that, that's, but the, I mean, he's going to draw more attention. So oh, if he yeah, has, yeah. if he has yeah. better games, the, you know what I'm saying? He's already at, nobody knows who Travis Hunter is until yesterday. Right. Everybody knows Mark. So, I mean, like he's yeah. got to, the gap's got to close yeah. there a little bit, but no, I'm with you. He can't have a game like that. No. I mean, if he continues to have, no, 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 uh, I'm saying, not continue to have. I'm saying that game just did it. Like he, hundred oh, percent. I don't. I don't see them giving a receiver the Heisman anyway. They did once. They did once because the guy didn't have that fucking game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, the guy didn't. Have, he could win it. The guy didn't have. But now he can't. The guy didn't have very good games the first three games that year though. Until what's his dick got hurt. Waddle was winning the Heisman. Yeah, but he still had eighty fucking eighty yards. Yeah, probably. And still had touchdowns. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like you can't have that game gotcha. against Indiana. Yeah. Against you played a lot of fucking snaps. Yeah. 
well, it was first year quarterback. Yeah, but then it also goes against you because it was your high school quarterback. You guys already know each other. Yeah. Yeah. And if I'm a new quarterback and I got a Marvin Harrison Jr. out there, I'm yeah. only throwing it to yeah. him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of that, too, was like he was just too amped to get rid of the ball. Yeah. Because another half a second, there was a touchdown yeah. that he should have had to Marvin Harrison well, for fucking the... 60 yards. Shoot. The, or maybe right before half, he throws it to Tate on a seam, and the defender made just a nice play. Yeah. First half, if he hits the crosser, yeah, he scores, walks right in, yeah, because nobody got. He no, didn't make the right read. No, he didn't. He didn't. I mean, he didn't wait. He didn't wait for like the guy's Tate's covered. That's I mean, that's one fuck of a throw. You he know what I'm saying? He threw some darts. He threw some darts, but that throw on the seam is. It, there's nobody behind you in yeah. the end zone. That's over the top, so you can get. Yeah. I mean, if he waits a half a second, the drag comes across. He at least gets the first down. Yeah, yeah. There's two in that first half that he he pulled the trigger of like, mm-hmm. hey, those guys are both fucking double covered. Like the yeah. one you hit the almost hit the defender Tinder. in the back. Yeah, that's a. Well, you did hit. Well, the one he did hit the dude in the helmet, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of like, hey, you're not you're not seeing what you're supposed uh-huh. to see. Yeah. And like him not seeing that and like Devin Brown not being the guy, that's why I don't think Devin Brown's the guy. Because mm. why did... Because he wears 33. Why, why would... Yeah, has to be because <laughs> you just can't do that. <laughs> but like, how were you not? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Because I the way it sounded to me, and I don't know if you talked to Spencer or anything, but it sounded like Devin Brown kind of outplayed him at camp. And that's the. But they always had the McCord was going to be our starter mm, in their mind. I, he never said anything about that, but he did say like Devin Brown has outplayed McCord yeah. in camp and that McCord was getting the nod because he is older and he's been in there yeah. a little longer. But he said that Devin Brown has outplayed McCord because he's just more athletic. Yeah. He can move a little bit better and he likes to move a little bit more. Yeah. You know, when you're when, uh, you know, I'd like to see him on more than here's three plays and yeah. then here's three plays. Well, I would like, be he never got I would play. not be shocked if Devin Brown started this week. You know, everybody, obviously, in Ohio, everybody shits on Harbaugh. But the way he did it last year of like, hey, this one's J.J. McCarthy. You're starting this game and then game two. Yeah. The other, the other guy. guy's starting and we'll see where we're at. Mm-hmm. But these are your, you know, yeah, this hey, you're going to play a couple series. You're going to. Yeah. Hey, no, just give him a game. I. <laughs> Especially with who you I play. I didn't mind it. I didn't mind the way Urban did it. Or er, Urban. Um, Day did it yesterday. Because I, I thought he was correct. It didn't feel right at times to go to keep going back and forth. Right. And I, yeah, and I was like, yeah, 100%. Because you weren't playing good. Because you weren't playing well. So you got to get that. Like, And you didn't play him long enough. For him to get a rhythm. Yeah. Like after that first or second series where you, Devin Brown went in. Yeah. I was like, well, he's not in, like, you're not throwing the ball enough for him to get in a rhythm. Right. Even, it's just, it was a weird give and take there. And I, th- like, when you get a quarterback in a rhythm, you need him to complete some passes. Yeah. So whether you, whether or not you get 15 yards, five yards, whatever, is not important. To get him in a rhythm is you need to have him complete throws. Right. So your bubbles, your slants, your hitches, anything like that are easy pitch and catch yeah. throws. That's how you get the guy in rhythm. All right. I get it. You're trying to establish a run game. Okay. Yeah. But you also have to get these guys comfortable throwing the football. Right. You got, you got to find that nice. You didn't have to run the ball nine times out of the first yeah. 10 plays. Because you're, you're not going to do that against good teams. Yeah. And whoever ends up being the starter is going to throw for 30 touchdowns. Yeah. I mean, it it's just going to be that uh-huh. way. Because also you got to remember, like, C.J. Stroud looked like fucking garbage his first game uh-huh. against Minnesota. But uh, the one thing that did stand out is that fucking Tate is going to be. Yeah, he's good. Like, you could. Mm-hmm. You could tell that he's, everybody's like, well, you know, but he dropped that one or he didn't do this. It's like he is 18 years old. Like yeah. he played high school football <laughs> last year. <laughs> exactly. Like this doesn't fucking happen. Mm-hmm. Marvin Harrison didn't play all that much as a freshman. Nope. He did. I mean, he he was the third option. Now, granted, they obviously had multiple NFL guys ahead of him. Yeah. But uh, like yeah. that guy, like you could see the mm-hmm. way he bursts up the sideline. of like, yeah. Oh, he's one that. 
um, would be how that Alabama thing is. Oh, you, you just, this guy runs a fucking seven yard slant and goes for 70. Yeah. Like you can see that. Uh-huh. Like he just, uh, gonna he's going to be good. I thought Fleming played well for him. Well, he's the only there. one that got any targets. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's always, he's, he's forgot- always open. He's just one of the forgotten ones. You know, he's, to me, he's old Mr. Reliable because he's been yeah. there for a long time. It's one of those ones like, well, who's this Fleming guy? Oh, the, another guy that's going to be in the NFL playing wide receiver. <laughs> yeah, that's who it is. It's another NFL receiver, but he's just not as good as Harrison and Abuka. Uh-huh. And now you got this freshman coming along too that's yeah. going to be an NFL. He's Terry McLaurin. Yeah. Nobody knows who he is until he gets to the pros. Yeah, he's a fucking all pro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, it'll be fine. Ohio State will be fine. They're not going undefeated. I guess is my what I'm saying. No, I think they'll beat. I don't Penn think State. they can beat Michigan. I don't. I, think, I, I don't Michigan. think they can beat Michigan. I don't think they can beat Michigan either. Because the one like the one thing of like needed to get tougher in the trenches. No, they did, did not. not. Nope, they look the exact same in the trenches, and that's concerning because it's not good. Not getting any better. No. As they say, I think that Brandon Walker said it best. He goes, wow, Ohio State and the offense-defensive line, they're just a bunch of pussies. Yeah, I mean, and, that's, and what, they, they that's pushed, what they look they get like. pushed around. Yeah. Yeah, again, recruit, you don't recruit size anymore. No. They, they recruit, here, here's a thought of... Like their offensive line and defensive line. Now, granted, you get the Bosa's and stuff. That's just different. Like, there's guys that are just different. Mm-hmm. But they are SEC 2007, 2008, small, fast. Yeah. Where all your, you know, like the guys winning national championships, Georgia's, Alabama's, are just fucking big. Yeah. We, I mean, big. We, I, we talked about that last week with yeah. just the different. Just big. Like, all right. So, I mean,. Go back to the last time Ohio State won a national championship. Yeah. Go back to 14. Look at the comparisons of who was on, yeah. who just up front. Yep. Compare them. Compare them body wise. Yeah. They're monsters. Monsters. Just, I mean, Pat Elfline, oh, monster. Yeah. yeah. Billy Price, yeah. Monster. Well, a bunch of guys that played Isaiah in the NFL Prince, for a long fucking time. Isaiah Prince. Monster, like these, those guys are huge. <clears throat> Fuck him though, yeah, because he yeah. <laughs> fucking gets a bunch of false starts and it fucks the Bengals over and fucking guy. Played those, the Super Bowl though, but those yes. guys are those guys are huge. Look at their D line. They're huge. You're not getting yeah. the Boses and the Chase Youngs. That's not who I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking it's about the size, interior, interior guys. Some of one of them still plays for the Jags. I forget his name. Yeah, he was a he was a rotational guy. Yeah. Look at uh, the Jonathan Hankins, the Cameron Haywards, those interior guys, yeah. massive human beings. It's like, well, you know, we like really athletic offensive linemen. That's fine. You gotta waste. But you gotta, why? Yeah. Are they running 40 yards down <laughs> exactly. the field to fucking block? What are no, we doing here? I need some fucking hogs up there that With are going to march us down the, the field. backfield. You got some top tier running backs back yeah. there. Just open a fucking hole. That's why, that's why I don't get why they are so stuck on this. If the, uh, I don't get why they're stuck on the zone running because you're not running it with the quarterback. No. So why are you running zone? It makes no sense. Yeah. It makes no sense. He's not pulling the ball. He's not taking on. Right. Run old school dive football, dive and power, stuff like yep. that. You know, dive right, dive left, power, get him pulling, get him going around, get the tight, get a buck going, get the both guards and the tight end moving, get yep. some kind of movement. Your, your your run plays are not schemed. You have no misdirection in your runs. You're, you don't even motion no. when you run the football. You don't get anybody moving. It's it's weird. If you you dedic you you said in the offseason that you had to figure out how to run the football. Before the game yesterday, you said let's see if we can play old school football. To me, that means running Line and tackling. Up and run the fucking football. Yeah, you didn't do that. You didn't do that. You didn't. Your scheme was bad. You lined up and ran the football how you did last year. Yeah, it was just I don't know. I don't. I don't. I really don't get the zone when you're not involving the quarterback. Right. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Because when it did work against Georgia, because mm-hmm. quarterback ran. Yeah. Got to yeah. pull it once Gotta in a while. Pull it once in a while, you have to pull. You have to pull it at least at, at least six times, six to seven times. Yeah. 
if, keep everybody if, honest. Yeah. I mean, if you're if you run if you run the football, what do you get about? You get about fifty five plays, sixty plays in a game. Yeah, typically. I mean, if you're running the football, thirty of them. Yep. You're pulling it twelve times, and even if you get two yards, you pulled it. Yeah. You got him. That yep. defender goes with you now. It's one less guy on the backside cutting him down on the back yeah. end. It's. I mean. Well, in the zone blocking scheme, especially in college, like it works for the Eagles. They're phenomenal at it. But it doesn't work if the backside end is doing what he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't collapse and comes upfield to have the quarterback, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. Because you now granted it would work if you have a linebacker fucking banging the way that guy was yeah. and you pull it now there's fucking nobody yeah. there yeah and then another thing is like you have nothing coming off of your reads yeah you're not doing any play action off your zone no so you're not getting could you imagine if they did could you imagine they're running a, a zone left like they did a lot yeah McCord boots it back right all, you're telling me all your guys dragging back across the field yeah yeah uh, <laughs> like Oh my God. Oh my God. You're open. Yeah. You're open by 20 yards. You're open by 20 that, yards. That's all. That was the most upsetting thing to me of like with all the NFL guys, they have the fact that they're always contested. Like they're not open. Mm -hmm. And I, I understand oh, Ryan Day's greatest offensive coach. And no, he's not. not. Like I watched like when Alabama had those guys, that those was receivers fantastic. were open by 20 fucking yards. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they schemed so well. That they had Tommy Eichenberg guarding the Heisman Trophy winner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that was all scheme. Yep. That was all scheme. They were going to put this guy here. Yeah. How are you going to fix that? Yeah. Well, obviously not. Not. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I, I just, I don't get some of the stuff and it's not my job to critique it, but it's like. what well, is. I mean, it's it is. kind of what we're doing here. Yeah, no, I'm saying, it's, or sorry, it's not my job to fix it. Yeah. But it's like, I mean, why would you. You haven't won a national championship since you've been the head coach. It's the one thing you haven't done. Yep. You've got to you've gotten there. Yep. But you haven't won it. My mindset is is I got to change stuff. Yeah. Have to change stuff. I ha if it's not working, I ha like running the football doesn't work with you guys. Change it. Yep. Change the way you do it. Change something. Like your backs are really good backs. Just man up. You, yeah, your backs are really good. They don't need a zone blocking. They don't need a cutback lane. They they can Tra Travion Henderson can even put his head down and get you three to four yards on an inside run. The one that got me the most is the two times that it was third down and two, and they ran the ball and lost yards on both times. That right there, yeah, it's over. Yeah, if you can't line up and power two yards against Indiana, you ain't doing it. Yeah, really shame that the season's over already. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how, as an offensive lineman, your tackles have to be in a fucking stance. I'm sorry. Yeah. They do. They have to be in a stance. Yeah. You're they, running the they, ball. You're running the football. Get in a stance. You're, you're already six foot five, and you squatted to your six foot three. Yeah. You have no leverage. Yeah. You have no leverage. You have no go. You have no get up. No wonder you can't drive anybody off yeah. the football. You have no power. Yep. I, I, that's, it bugs the shit out of me when they're not like, you're running the football. Get in a stance, fire off the football. I guarantee the six foot five, yeah. 315 pound tackle is going to move Indiana's defensive end when he's in a stance. Yeah. And he's firing off the football. That's the. That's going to be the interesting thing, too, is the, the, the clock rules changing. Yeah. Because now you can run Ohio State out of time. Yeah. Because that first half went really fucking fast yesterday. Really fast. We ain't stopping that clock on first downs anymore. Mm -hmm. So what is it under? Is it under two minutes? I believe so. Of, you know, you play in Iowa because that's how they play. Of, hey, you might only get fucking six possessions. <laughs> you might. Well, I mean, Chip Kelly said it last night in the, in the halftime interview. Yeah. I you didn't know? hear it. Oh, you didn't hear no. it? He goes... He's like, he goes, man, that first, he goes, that was the fastest first half I can remember because we only got like four drives. 
And he goes, I hope you guys are selling a whole lot of commercials and like smiled and like ran yeah. off. Like, <laughs> I don't understand why they changed that. <laughs> yeah. It's either. to get the plays down. So because they care about safety. Yeah. OK, <laughs> whatever. Keep adding games. Yeah. But we care about your safety. <laughs> Same way NFL. Uh huh. We're going to add a 17th game, but player safety is important. Yeah. And when and we're going to make you go to Germany. Yeah. <laughs> In England, in and I assume Mexico. the 18th game is coming soon. Soon, because yeah. here's my thought: is when they add that 18th game, mm -hmm. you're going to end up with 16 games overseas that everybody, yeah, is playing somebody overseas. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, got eight, don't they now? Yeah. Of hey, we had this last game. Everybody's playing probably a fucking division game right now. You should, you can't do that. But of like, hey, the AFC. North playing the NFC West. Mm -hmm. Every one of those games on a neutral site in fucking Germany, uh, or there, that's yeah. what's going to happen. Probably. Probably because they can say, "Well, you still got you know all your home games." Yeah, we, that's what they should have done with the seventeenth. That seventeenth game should have just been a neutral site game, and everybody still had eight and eight. Yeah, you know, like we're now it's NFC has the nine games this year. Then next year the AFC will have the. Nine. You should just went all up, you know. Yeah. Just done your fucking thing. Yeah. Went up to Montreal or you yeah. know, different places that have football fields. I think the NFLPA would put a nix on the Canada thing. I think they want to. They just don't like Because the, the taxes. Oh. Because they don't tax you on your game check. They tax you at the rate of your whole fucking salary for the year. Oh, man. So it's not a, hey, you don't get taxed at the rate for a, you know, a million dollar game check. It's yeah. like, no, you get taxed at the rate that you made. Fifty million dollars. Oh shit! Yeah, that's crazy. Even in the preseason. Oh man! So you, when they preseason up in Toronto, mm -hmm. every player lost money going up there to play because they had to, <sighs> they didn't pay taxes on the eight hundred. Why the hell do they have a baseball team up there then? Why would anybody <laughs> want to play for the Blue Jays? Yeah. They <laughs> they kind of don't. Oh okay, hey. Right. <laughs> but I mean, that was shit. the like you get a I think you get like an eight hundred dollar check. Okay. For a preseason game, because uh -huh. you don't get your salary yet. But yeah. they tax you at the bracket of twelve million dollars. Ooh, of like, I just, no I just paid nine hundred dollars for in taxes on a game. I only get fucking eight hundred dollar check for. Yeah, that's, no, wonder, no wonder they have that's free why. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Then yeah, it's same. Now it's tax rates kind of being the same when they go over to Europe, but. I think it's per the game check. Yeah. Did you watch North Carolina and South Carolina? Last night? I did not. I didn't either. It was too late. Yeah. I fell asleep pretty. All I seen. Saw North Carolina won. But God, how do you not like Mac Brown? Yeah. It's still like your get, grandpa. Still get, yeah, I know. Still getting it done. Still getting it done. I did, you know, the only thing I was able to look up was... Fucking Rose got beat in a decision. Oh, did she? She she moved up a weight class. I assume she's done. Mm. Yeah. Sad day. Because Stipe doesn't fucking fight anymore either. I assume he's done. He keeps saying he's going to fight John Jones at some point. He's like, some point in time, you're going to be 50. Sometime, I think it's November. <laughs> did, have they booked it? I, think it's, I don't I know think that it's they booked. booked it. I think it's booked because I read, uh, I want to say it's November 11th. They're fighting. That should be the New York card, I assume. I don't know. But they usually go to Madison Square Garden. And um, because I read that uh, Sergey Pavlovich, that big freaking Russian dude. Yeah. He's the backup. Oh. In case somebody Sweet. doesn't make weight. I'm like, I'd like to see John Jones and Stipe, but I think I'd like to see John Jones and Pavlovich because that dude looks fucking massive. He looks like a heavyweight. Trying to see what. Oh, it's October. Yep. November 11th, right? Yep. November yeah. 11th. John Jones versus Stipe. God, yeah. I want Stipe to win so bad. Not that. Yeah. I know a lot of people shit on John Jones. I like John Jones. Uh -huh. I think he's the best ever. But you like but you've always, Stipe. And you say you've always liked Stipe since I've. Just that. I, I see that fading back fucking hook. Whack. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, he does. He's there so go. good. At, he's knocking people out backwards. backwards. Yeah. God, yeah. It's good. He's good at it. So good at that. And he's just a tough fucker, too. Yeah. I mean, real tough. I mean, I'm not saying, again, it's nothing taking away from John Jones, but it's just like, this guy's a real heavyweight. 
yeah. real, real heavyweight. Yeah, John Jones, greatest fighter ever. Mm-hmm. I, you know, people's like, well, but you could do no, 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 no. Yeah. They say, well, you know, pound for pound, greatest ever. It's like, no, 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 pound for pound, shit. Yeah, he's just the greatest ever. He beat the fuck out of Mighty Mouse because yes. he weighs one hundred twenty five <laughs> exactly. pounds. Yeah. You know, if you want to be the best ever, you have to say you can beat that fucking guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you yeah, can't do this exactly. pound for pound shit. Pound shit. I like I w- Sugar Sean. Yeah. Pound for pound. John Jones beating your fucking ass, pal. So what What are we talking about? It's like Is the there, heavyweight has yeah. to be. That's what I, I said something. Uh, everybody always uses pound for pound yeah. for the small guy. Yeah. I said one time, I said, I'm pretty sure I'm pound for pound one of the best athletes to come out of my school. 100%. Uh, and everybody's like, I don't think it works like that. I'm like, why doesn't then it? Then why does it work nobody for weighs, else? Nobody weighs as much as I do, and there's some shit that I can do that's yeah. not bad. You know? I mean, nobody, weighs, nobody graduates, you know, at 290 and can, you know. Dunk? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With a trampoline. <laughs> like a Mark Henry. Remember, yeah. He used yeah. To, won the celebrity dunk contest just yeah. because he dunked it, yep. which is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. That's the fucking size of that. <laughs> just is. drop step, one hand dunk. Ten. Ten every, <laughs> he wins. Oh, man. Uh, the NFL. Oh, we're Dude, we're so close to having football for two days. Thursday. 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 Well, probably, I should be able to do it on Thursday this week. So do you want to talk about that game? We can talk about Yeah, because it won't come out before that game. That's what I figured we talk yeah. about. Kansas City against Detroit. Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. Nice. Man, it is upsetting. I am super angry that Chris Jones is sitting out. I'm not. I'm not super angry. Is that your first game? No. We play him early, though. Uh, He said week eight is when he plans to come back. Yeah, if they don't get anything done. Yeah. Let's see. Hold on. I, I mean, if he comes back after week eight, we don't have to face him. You play him twice? Before week eight, we play him twice. Why the fuck would they do that? Dude, This we go Chiefs, Packers, Chiefs. We play him three. I mean. Which I guess I get it because I think the Chiefs are kind of backloaded because then you get end up with like the Bengals and the Bills. Yeah. And the, yeah. So we got to play all the shitty teams at the beginning of the season. <laughs> uh, I am. Uh, uh, dude, our, our first eight games aren't like they're not easy. Raiders, Commanders, Dolphins, Bears, Jets, Chiefs, Packers, Chiefs, Bills, Vikings. That's our first 10. Yeah, like the Commanders, they don't even, their coach doesn't even know that they're playing football, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> how did, how is he, he's yeah. got to be fired in the first. Uh, he's really fell off since. I, what the fuck is going yeah, on? I, I had a lot of respect for Rivera, but man, he's really kind he of. He is. It turns out that he's just not good. Mm-hmm. And it, he's yeah. like one of those who was the Rams coach for the long fucking time. Jeff Fisher. Jeff Fisher. Like beloved, great yes. fucking football coach. But then it's like he's only had like four winning seasons. Yeah. It's terrible. And that's Ron Rivera. Yeah. He's only got like three or four yeah. winning seasons. Yeah. Of like. Yeah. And, and one like, of them, and most and those were all with you, Cam Newton. You cannot like you don't keep jobs for being a good person. Sorry. Yeah. Like you're a good. You seem like a good dude. You seem like a good human being. But the fact that you came out with a statement that didn't know that the third string quarterback on your fucking team could throw the ball. Yeah. Man, that guy can throw that way. Been you on our team the whole fucking time, coach. Didn't try him out. Did you not watch the practice film? Because we film them. Every one. <laughs> Every one of them get filmed. <laughs> yeah. So the Lions Chiefs. Um. I mean, the Chiefs are going to win by at least 30. two scores. I said I, at actually, least I think scores. the fucking Lions going to beat them. You think so? No. That'd be badass. It'd be awesome. It's only Chiefs six and a half. Well, that's a thir- well, I guess you can't even say that it's a Thursday game because it doesn't matter because they haven't fucking played. Yeah. So it's not like they're, not like they're on a short week. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Chiefs six and minus six and a half. That's some respect to Detroit. Yeah. Because I would assume it would be nine and a half. Yeah. I think Detroit's going to be good. I just don't think, hey, you know, tone it down. Like, I think they can make the playoffs. Yeah. I really exactly. do. The Lions can make the playoffs. Yeah. I think that's very reasonable. But to pop up and beat the Chiefs? Come on now. Opening weekend? No. The Chiefs are so good. The Chiefs, they remind me a lot. Uh, now, say it however you want. Whatever's less offensive to the two teams. But they have that Alabama blitz. 
like we yeah. talk about all the time. Yep. It's like it's seven to three, and then to go into halftime, it's it's seventeen to three. Yeah. And then you know what I'm saying. Yep. And then it's then those they can they just score so fast. But I think the Chiefs are going to take. I don't. I think they make the playoffs. I think they win the division. I don't think they go to the Super Bowl again. I think they kind of. I don't know if they win by the amounts that they have been winning by. At some point in time, right. you ha- at, I mean, it just it's not logical. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, Chris Jones not in that fucking lineup. It's a big deal defensively because you don't have Frank Clark now either. I'll tell you one here, Chris Jones not in that lineup, like they can't you they cannot beat the Bengals. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, beat the Bills. Mm-hmm. I mean, you just because that guy yeah. wrecks the fucking game. Yes, you're right. Again, especially against passing yes. teams. No, you're 100. percent And they don't have. I mean. Their pass rushers are gone. Chris Jones is your interior one. Yep. Frank Clark was your outside one. He doesn't play for you anymore. Uh, you didn't really sign a whole lot of extra ones. Now you drafted some young guys, but who knows what they're going to be? Uh, your back end is okay. They were all real, they were all yep. real young. Good yeah. for you. You have a the, the that one linebacker. Well, I forget his name, but he was a yeah. stud in the Super Bowl. Um, your offensive line's kind of in question now. Yeah, you have two new tackles. Yeah, it's one of those, like, this is the down year for them. Yeah. Like, they've replaced a lot of shit. Like, if they're, if, if they're, they're ever to beat Kansas City, yeah, this is the year. Because mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know how they pay. I don't know how they pay them. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, I mean, in the pre, like, when, when they lost Tyree Kill, that was one piece to a giant puzzle. Yeah. To where that was the, well, you lost Tyreek Hill, but it was never about Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill, obviously, he's very fast and a Mm -hmm. phenomenal receiver. Yeah. But Kelsey was your number one guy. Yeah, Kelsey's your dude. Was always your number one guy. As long as you have him, everybody else is open. Yeah. And you've done really good at drafting young guys and replacing Tyreek Hill's ability to... Getting all the retreads. Yes, to separate themselves from people. I mean, Scantling's your over-the-top guy. Yeah. Then you have Tony. Then you have that Sky Moore kid who's just going into his third year, I think, yeah. or second year. You have Travis Kelsey. I mean, you have you have plenty of yeah. you have two decent running back. Or I don't even know if Edward Delaire is going to play football anymore. Who knows? But you have Pacheco, and you have um, the other little third down back yep. who you use quite often. Um, you know, my biggest thing is like those the bookend. Ta- you have two new tackles. Yeah. Uh, you know, how are you going to handle that? It'll be interesting. Yeah. It'll be interesting. And but the Lions, can Goff continue to get... Not to, turn the ball not over. Not turn the ball Can that's he it. be okay? Can he be okay? Uh, that's what I forget, too. It's like they're, they don't, they're missing their number two receiver for the first six games because yeah. he's a gambler. Yeah. but uh, he has a problem. <laughs> but like they, they, I'm interested to see how they run the ball because the Lions' offensive line is really good. Dude, that's a, on uh, New Heights. Yeah. They were talking about... Uh, Matthew Stafford's wife when she said, hey, you know, Matthew's having trouble connecting with the young guys because, yeah. like, they don't play cards. They don't do this. They're just on their phone. And uh, Jason was saying that. And he's like, it, you know, it is kind of true. Like, you just have to make the effort to go talk to him because they, they don't play cards like we used to always uh-huh. do. He goes, and they do just go over there and they're, they're on their phones. Yeah. And then <laughs> Travis goes, yeah, they're over there gambling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what young players do, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, like, you know. Yeah. That, no, I that, mean, that's a true statement. It's a true statement. Because everybody's getting suspended. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it'll be interesting. I, it's going to be a fun Thursday night, man. Real fun Thursday night. That's a thing, too, of like with Chris Jones. And did uh, Bosa do anything? Is he signed yet? I don't think he has. No, they said that they... They said he's going, you know, within the next few days, he will. I'm sure they'll get it done Tuesday. When it kind of needs to be in practice. Yeah. (laughs) Because they play Sunday against the Steelers. Yeah. But uh, I hate that because that's where I'm on the McAfee train Mm -hmm. when he's talking about it. He's like, both of you say we're going to get this deal done. Just fucking do it then. Yeah. yeah, Because they need to be in, they need to be at practice. Yeah. Even if they're not practicing, they need to be in the locker room. Uh-huh. Hey, how about you meet the, the new guys on the team? Yeah. Of the, not so much with Jones because they don't know what they're going to do with him. But the Bosa, both sides have said, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll get it done. We'll get you know, it done. Which Jones? Or, um, um, 
I just totally blanked on his name from Kansas City. Not Jones. Oh, Chris Jones. Yeah. Yeah. I think oh, yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just said that like I didn't know what I was fucking talking about. Why well, would you remember? What a piece of fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Jacobs. No. I forgot about the whole Jones. That we talked about 30 that. seconds before. <laughs> Sorry. But like on the Bosa side of it, like the 49ers have said, oh, we're, we're going to get it yeah, done. Yeah, we'll get it we're done. We're going to get it done. We'll, like, it done. well, then fucking do it. If do you're going to pay him. Yeah. Just pay him. You don't have to start the payments. Yeah. Until he plays a game. Exactly. So what the fuck does it matter Just if we do it? I mean. Yeah, if it gets done. Last week or Tuesday. Hey, if you don't want to practice, don't fucking practice. Yeah. <laughs> We're not concerned with you being able to get yeah. to the quarterback. Uh-huh. We know you'll do it. Kind of figure that. Yeah. Of if you're going to pay him, just fucking pay him. Yeah. Yeah. Now on the, on the Jones side of it, it's like, I don't know what you can do. Yeah. Because you got to rework some. I don't know. They have a shit ton of money because he <laughs> sounds like he wants 30 a year. Yeah. He wants Aaron, Aaron Donald contract. Yeah. That's. Tough. And you, hey, great! You've outplayed him. That's great. But yeah, you also have Mahomes and Kelsey. Like, yeah, you're gonna trade for you're gonna trade you know, for Aaron Donald. That, that's yeah. We'll just okay. You're not gonna play this year. No problem. Yeah, we'll trade for that guy. Yep. <laughs> for fifteen million dollars. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh man, Aaron Donald and who's the other dude on the ring? Oh, I bet that I bet Cup and McDonald's traded. Yeah. Which cup tweaked his hammy. Yep. Somebody said, he goes, boy, uh, when Stafford's done, it's going to be weird because he's going to end up being the Dallas Cowboys quarterback when they <laughs> wait on Trey Lance. It's like, <laughs> that's a fucking weird take. That's a weird take. Because, it, it, man, you want to talk about something over fucking blown. Yeah, them trading for Trey Lance. Everybody's like, yeah. oh, they don't believe in Dak. It's like, he's a third string quarterback on a fucking practice squad. What are you fucking talking about? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. They just have to keep him on the run. He, he couldn't compete for the starting job at San Francisco. And they just run through quarterbacks. That t- he couldn't beat out uh, what's his fuck for the second job. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, Sam Darnold. So you think them trading, <laughs> giving nothing for this guy, <laughs> that he was going to take Dak Prescott's job? Well, yeah. He's not even the... He's not even the backup. No, he's not. But all the people, oh, they yeah. just don't like Dak. They're getting rid of him for this guy. It's like, it's not even no. true. No. no. I think we're very well aware that Dak won't make it through the season because he hadn't in a couple years. Yeah. And you need another backup quarterback. Mm-hmm. And if you're going to have a backup quarterback, you might as well have one that can fucking run a little bit. Yeah. Because that's what he can do. Uh-huh. But it's like, yeah, he's not. What, what yeah. are we talking about? Yeah. Now, I would say that Dak wants a long-term quarterback, you better fucking play this year because I think Jerry Jones getting a little mm-hmm. on the, hey, you ready to renegotiate again? Uh, you're throwing all these interceptions. Yeah. And I'm, I don't understand that either of like the people that shit all over Dion mm-hmm. are the same ones that like, well, not all interceptions are the same and Dak's not, a, you know, it's like giving the ball to the other fucking team. Yeah. That's the whole point of the fucking game. <laughs> yeah, keep the ball. Keep it. Keep it. <laughs> Oh, man. People are dumb. People are dumb. Stupid fucks. Yeah. Stupid fucks. Phone drop. So you are taking the Chiefs minus no, I'm taking the, six the Lions nine. plus. Plus six and a half? Yep. They're going to win. Okay. Straight up. Straight up. Money yep. line them? Yep. Money line it? Okay. Hey, I put, uh, I put my division winners that we picked last week or two weeks ago on FanDuel yeah. for 10 bucks. If they all win... Yeah. I win ten grand. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the TikTok? My brother was talking about it yesterday, and then I, I had seen it too, where the guy's like, hey, four dollars wins you ten grand if you do this. Like, well, you have the Texans winning the fucking, fucking division. division. What are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. No wonder it wins you ten grand. <laughs> I mean Yeah, I I saw that because I got excited. Fucking- I'm like, Oh, okay, I'll I'll listen to this. And he went through it, and I'm like, Okay. I it's a little bit and then it was like, Okay. Cleveland? Yeah. I was like, Okay. Yeah. And then it was like Texas like, No, I'm not fucking doing it. Go buy some scratchers. Yeah. And the guy's like, well, you know, it's only $4. I'm like, yeah, but that's $4 I can put on something yeah, reasonable. That's, yeah. Yeah. No, not fucking $4 <laughs> for that shit. Yeah. It'd be like, well, if you put the Cardinals in there too, yeah. then you win 30, 30 grand. grand. It's yeah. like, well, they're trading people. They're obviously trying to get the number one and number two picks. Yeah. How awesome would that be if they did that? That'd if they crazy. tanked? Because whose pick do they have also? Is it the Texans? Yeah. Yeah. So they, if they ended up with a one and two pick, it'd be, awesome. be fucking amazing. Yeah. Caleb Williams and 
whoever uh, Marvin Harrison. Yeah, I mean, no, <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> Caleb Williams and some kind of tackle. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> or Marvin Harrison, depending on which way they go. Yeah, depending on how their free agency goes. Uh, I think Kyler Murray is traded as well. Because that was, because there is an odd way because I heard Michael Lombardi talking yeah, about that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. That guaranteed money is not guaranteed not money guaranteed, in the NFL. No, only Deshaun Watson has guaranteed yes. money. You have yes. guaranteed for injury. Uh huh. If you get injured, of like injured, well, they're going to play him. If he gets hurt again, they're on the hook for ninety-two million dollars. Yeah. So why would they play him? Why would you play him? Yeah. He's be traded. Yeah. So obviously, you put that in his contract, so you think he's shit, anyways. Yeah. That was one thing Steve, I like to. I mean, that's one of the things that one of the least good things Steve Kime did for him. <laughs> yeah, expose the guy for not yeah, fucking for being that. I mean, Kime may be a pervert and a drunk, but yeah. Hey, well, yeah. most people are perverts when they're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. But of the well, they they took it out of the contract. It's like, well, the fucking damage is done. Yeah, like it got out. It got they're out. Like, well, who leaked it? It's like he did. <laughs> I imagine he did. I imagine he did. Cause or he's, any other, because every team sees the contract. They yeah. have to post it to the NFL, and every team gets to look at it. Yeah, or any other team. So, <laughs> like, man, that's anyways, like, oh, this guy's not watching film. Yeah. <laughs> you don't put that. He's like, no, I'm watching plenty of films. Like, no, that doesn't go in a contract. <laughs> nope. If you're not, if they don't think that you're not watching. That's one of those conversations. Look, hey, I feel like I shouldn't have to put this in here. Yeah. But it seems like I need to. Hey, you're watching 175 hours of film a week. Are you actually watching film or are you just letting it play while yeah. you go do something else? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's not that many hours in a week. <laughs> yeah. You're watching it while you're at practice. Are you are you sure you're yeah. watching sure it? You're just not, you're just running. not running there. Oh goodness. Oh but do we get NFL this week and we'll give we'll do our picks on Thursday. Yeah. Give them out. Get the money. Train. Rolling. Are we, gonna, gonna are we actually going to try and bet on them ourselves this week? Sure. Who knows? Or this year? I don't know. You don't know? I'm not much of a gambler. <laughs> Just with life, baby. Dude, we were so excited for FanDuel to come out. Now you're saying you're not much of a gambler. I also got fucking robbed I know from FanDuel, you do. okay? I know you did. I know you did. All right. I apologize for that. It's very trauma. I'm, I'm suffering from a trauma. Yeah. Did you make your new fantasy account so I can get no. that? God damn it. I will this week, though, because okay. I, I have to make up a whole fucking new email. Yeah, I know. Because I can't come I in with I know. fucking losers. Yeah. Get their shit together. You know, I there's some people that don't want to be on it, and I, so I have to, I can't go on uh, the app and take people off of it. You have to do it online. Well, then I have to have, I can't do it on my phone because when you do it on your phone, it automatically takes you to the fucking app. Yeah. So I have to get a, I have to like do it on a computer. I'm like, this is stupid. This is why that's we That's fucking ha- weird. Yeah. Like that's like we why have Why would apps. you even do it that way? Yeah. I mean, any sense. Well, that's like when you, like. If you can you- add people on your, but you can't take them off. It's like when you go to cancel your cable or something like that. Like. I can't. You asked me to do everything online, but if I want to cancel it, I have to fucking call, call you. you. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. What the fuck is? What are we talking about? Uh-huh. We just want to confirm it. You're not even talking to a person. No, I'm talking to a robot. It says if you want to cancel your subscription, press five. Yeah, <laughs> you just done that online. <laughs> what can we do for you to keep it? Like for Directv? Well, you don't have the NFL package anymore. That was the only thing you could do. <laughs> Literally, was the only thing you could do. Honestly, saw you still paying for Directv for something. Like you just forgot to cancel it. Oh, I am. You still paying on it? Yeah. Okay. See, that's hundred percent. I figured, just I like, just forgot. Funny to... thing, yeah. Like I have all the apps, yeah, for like Fox and all that stuff, uh-huh. and they're all set up through my direct. I don't even turn it on. I can just watch it because they're linked to Direct TV. I just turn them on. That's funny. So why do you still pay Direct TV? I, I don't know. I just forget it can't about be any, stuff. It can't be any more expensive than like just having YouTube TV, is it? Oh, it's crazy more expensive. <laughs> It's like double. <laughs> it just it. Yeah. You cracked me up. I haven't turned that box on for a year and a half. No. <laughs> Not since they came out and cut it. <laughs> now, yeah, hundred percent. But obviously, I could watch hey, it is all. Is that how I supposed to cut that? <laughs> I could watch it all through the apps, and they, yeah. you know. Am I supposed to cut that line? <laughs> yeah. The fucking, I don't know. It's not even yours. 
pretty sure that is highly fucking illegal. illegal. Yeah. Like, you're not allowed to touch other people's shit. Uh, and then when I told him, he's like, I can't fix it. You have to have them fix it. I'm yeah. not allowed to touch their... <laughs> well, you touched it when you fucking cut it. <laughs> That's still one of my favorites. Oh, you have DirecTV? Yeah, that's why I have a big fucking dish on top of my house, you fucking <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> and then you can't... Uh, I tried getting them to come fix it, but... Yeah, they won't. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, we we, we got to fucking be there in six months. Yeah. <laughs> that happened when I had my, uh, I had a new roof put on my house, I don't know, 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I have to take the dish off. Yeah. Hey, I need you to, hey, you have to call DirecTV to have him put it back on. And they'll do it for free. It's yeah. part of your package. Yeah. Dude, it was like six weeks. Jesus. Hey, uh, our next, you know, because I don't like Finley or something like mm-hmm. that. We'll be in that area. I, I had to canceled that and i had to call whatever it's like satellite solutions or some shit that's in town locally mm-hmm. and have them come do it. i had to pay them to come do, do it, it because yeah. they would do it it was like it's yeah tomorrow. we'll be out there tomorrow yeah <laughs> what the fuck yeah. damn it <laughs> bastards i think too with direct tv i think you have to fucking mail all your boxes back yeah you do which is weird of like you don't want these back no you're not i've had this them. i've had this box for <laughs> box probably 14 years old <laughs> it's like you're going to, like, the remotes all rattle. <laughs> <laughs> what we, Is it the old remote that used to, like, flip up on a hinge? No, Do you remember that, that one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is where their DVR stuff's it's under here. Yeah. <laughs> i tell you what, though. I Because um, my uh, fire stick went out a little bit ago, so I just bought a Roku because you can get that locally without having to order it. Mm-hmm. Their little remote... They put the, on the side of the yeah. remote, they put the volume on the side and the mute. So if you just grab it wrong, yeah. it mutes the TV. <laughs> mutes the TV. I was like, well, who the fuck <laughs> yeah, I know. designed that? My child does it every time yeah. he grabs it. What, we, it's what, either, what the it's fuck? It's either on 100 or it's muted. Yeah. That's, he never you, hits you, the you low can, one. You can't pick up the remote nev- without <laughs> fucking muting the TV. Yeah, he never hits the turn down button. He always hits the, I mean, it'll be on like 50 in no time. Or there's just like, nothing. You're just saving space because you put those Hulu buttons and stuff <laughs> on there. And like, I have Hulu. I've never used that button. <laughs> yeah. I just click it, over click it over to Hulu. You don't want to be faster if I hit this button. It's not. It's not. It's not any faster. <laughs> yeah. It's actually Jeez. more inconvenient, especially yeah. for the fucking small ones I have, because they'll hit that and it'll just pop up. Like, I remember uh, when we first had the oldest one. I swear to God, he he almost we almost subscribed to Sling TV. Oh, just, just hit just, shit, he yeah. Just hit it, and then he would just keep hitting other buttons. I'm like, what the hell did we buy Sling TV? Wait, wait, we don't have that. Yeah, yeah. And each remote is a different one. Yeah, because I've had to buy like four remotes with dogs and yeah children throwing it in water and stuff and being pricks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And There's like poop all over the room. <laughs> <laughs> like the first one, it's typically always Netflix and Hulu. Yeah. And then like your other two are just like whammy ones. One was really good. I was pissed that it got ruined. It was Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and Disney. And I'm like, oh, yeah. we watch all of those four. I think that might be what mine so is. So I'm like, that makes sense. And then like the last one, I didn't have the one of them was like YouTube and Sling TV. I'm like, Fucking the stupid. Fucking sling TV. Yeah. This is from 1984. Yeah. Sling TV. Real sling in it, huh? They were like the first ones to ever come out with that shit. I was like, I didn't even know you were still around. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently they're on the, the only Roku remote. Bastards. But the uh, the one I have in my bedroom is, I still have a Roku hooked up to it. it. And it's, you know, getting on its last leg, but I don't use it that, I only use it to fall asleep. Yeah. And uh, that thing is 15 years old, 14 years. I mean, it was like the original Roku. It's still fucking working. Nice. That's a little sluggish. Like, you know, Mm -hmm. like you hit the button and it might take two seconds for it to click over. Yeah. (laughs) But it's, eh, you know, I'm used to it now. Mm -hmm. Still working. That was probably about the end of the... I had something funny to say, but I don't remember what it was now. Oh, something that's... to do with testicles and... <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to tell you. I started uh, re-watching the league a little bit. Yeah. Of, and I just got past the episode where their daughter picked up her shit out of the toilet. Oh, uh, like, yeah. What? It, I made it. Yeah. What you, why is she picking up shit? shit yeah. <laughs> well, just let them grow out of it. 
No, no, she's, she's picking up shit. She's picking up shit. <laughs> oh, what's the term that she uses? There's like a term, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? There's like yeah. a, oh yeah, I forget. It's like potty something or potty pleasers or something like that. Because that was like real close to the episode where Taco dresses up as that thing. He just <laughs> yeah, fucking rocks him. him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mr. I McGiblets. forgot like the... Uh, he sings that fucking birthday song in the first fucking episode. Oh, yes, it's great. Like, <laughs> yep. oh my god, I <laughs> forgot so that that was fucking. Hey, this is a this is hey, a pilot first episode. <laughs> first episode. <laughs> yep. So in the first episode, you had a finger in the butt. Yep. In the birthday song. In the birthday song. It's fucking great. And divorce. Yeah, and divorce. <laughs> and divorce. Covered, <laughs> fucking hitting Every, them all. Everything hitting them all. Yeah. Oh, that's a fantastic show. Fantastic show. Yeah. Didn't watch anything. I finished Justified. It's just it's fucking phenomenal. The ending was phenomenal. I came in my pants. Um, that is pretty good so ending. It was that good. Yeah. They, you got they, a nice ending too, huh? Shot right into a full-blown porno. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody on set just started fucking, and they filmed That's it, and crazy. they put it out. That's awesome. No, but it was like exactly what you'd want. Exactly what you'd want. Nice the the uh, the second season of the the winning time with the Lakers. It's good. Yeah, it's good. I've never seen the first one. Oh, you didn't watch the first one? No, no, I, I just couldn't. Why? You didn't like? You don't feel like you like it? I'm fuck team Will Ferrell. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's typical HBO though. Typical HBO yeah. first season. Party and tits, alcohol. Oh, and like yeah. The second season is like, it back. scale it back a little bit. Here's <laughs> the show. Game of Thrones, fucking yep. titties. Or, <laughs> yeah. I mean. Incest. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You never knew that you wanted to see a guy fuck his cousin, but hey, <laughs> here we go. Do. Now, now you, you do. do. We're going to make you okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, in HBO, it was fucking brother and sister, actually. Yeah, brother and sister. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but it's, I, I like the show. I like it a lot. That I know a, I can't imagine a lot of it being all that true. None, mostly none of it is. That's what I mean, but that's why I think I like it because it's yeah, it's like it's the real people, real characters. I remember looking into it, it's based off a book, and it's a book of fiction. Yeah, of like it's kind of like Tarantino movies of like yeah, yeah, yeah. We just ate. well, like the dude who um, you would know who he is. Oh, um. Anyway, he's an actor, but he plays uh. The logo, forget his name. Jerry West. Jerry West. He is, if, I don't know how Jerry West was as a younger man, but if he's anything like how this dude acts, I fucking love him. I don't think he did because I recall Jerry West getting ready to sue HBO. Oh, really? Yeah. How they portray yeah. him as being like. Piece of shit. He's not a piece of shit. He's just everything. kind of came off as a piece of shit or something like that. It was. He came off as like. In the very first few episodes, he came off as um, like everybody sucks. Like they don't listen. Like, yeah. uh, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like one of those like everybody fucking sucks. I can't handle this anymore. Like one of those things. <coughs> but he's then they move him to like the front <coughs> office. Yeah. And everything is like everything is great. And then one thing is said and then he just fucking like will just blow up. And it is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> No, it's great. I, I mean, I, I like the show. It's good. It's funny. Wait till, wait till it gets AIDS. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not so funny anymore. <laughs> or more funny. Or more funny, depending on, <laughs> depending on which. Knowing you go. that he's still fine. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> he survived it. Yep. Thrived actually. Thrived, yeah, he owns it. a lot of sports teams. Yeah, he <laughs> does. I, I still love that. They said, technically, he is, he's like, well, he owns this team and he owns the Commanders of like. No, he doesn't. No. He owns a share of it, but yeah. this multi-billionaire actually owns the fucking team. Yeah. I mean, the way it. they throw that around, like yeah. Aaron Rodgers owns the Milwaukee Bucks. It's like, now he owns like 1%. Yeah. So he <laughs> owns an eighth of it. And is he banging the owner's daughter now? I don't know. I thought I'd seen that the other day. Woody Johnson's or the no, Milwaukee no, no, Bucks? The Milwaukee owner. Bucks daughter. I don't know. Might be. That's cool. I know I've seen that. Could have been, you know, quite fate. <laughs> yeah. But I ran with it. Yeah. Now it's out there. Tens of people are going to go with that now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that, buddies? <laughs> All right. Uh, what else we got? You got anything else? I got fucking jack shit, man. <laughs> All right. 
Detroit Lions forever. Whiteside.